All right, welcome back inside our proactive newsroom. And joining me now is Waldo Perez, the CEO of Neolithium. And uh, Waldo, it's great to see you again. How are you? Very well. Thank you very much, Steve. Yeah, we've got some news out today. Uh, but before we do that, just remind everyone a little bit about your lithium project. Well, 3Q is a relatively recent discovery back in 2015. And in five years, we went from discovery to what it is today, one of the six biggest lithium brine projects in the world and actually the highest grade undeveloped lithium project in the world. Um, so it's a very difficult project to match in the sense of has the lowest impurities of any known salar, uh, very high grade, as I say, and in size is a very significant uh, project. We are now at the verge of uh, completing the final feasibility study uh, along with our CATL uh, partner, which is the largest battery manufacturer in the world. Yeah, that feasibility study is actually coming this year, right? Yes, uh, at the end of Q3, beginning of Q4, right there in the edge uh, is when we are expecting that Worley will release our final feasibility study. Okay. Now, uh, today's news is you've been able to update uh, your mineral resource. Um, this is, first off, this is not going to affect your feasibility study, right? This won't have anything to do with that? No, it simply makes the deposit bigger, but the, the grade didn't change as well as the place where we will be starting mining. So nothing changed for the feasibility study. It's simply bigger, what means that we can expand beyond what we thought previously. Yeah, so let's talk about that, that expansion of that mineral resource. Uh, put up some pretty good numbers. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the high-grade resource have increased dramatically, like 125%. And let me explain why it is important. When you build a lithium brine project, you have to build ponds, like the one there at the back of my picture. The size of the ponds are geometrically, logarithmically related to the grade. So the higher, the, the, as you find more high grade, you need smaller ponds, which means smaller capex, or to say the same, with the same cost, you can produce more. That's why it's so important for lithium brine projects to find high grade ore. And, and Waldo, I just want to ask you as we wrap up here, just your thoughts about, about the demand for lithium, because, you know, we're obviously hearing about the importance of, of electric vehicles and, and other things in the world as well. Uh, still seeing such a, a strong demand that continues to rise. Absolutely. Look, I will give you a very simple number. Okay. If we are going to meet 30, 40% of all cars sold in the world electric, in the next 10 years, we need to open 80, 80, 80 new mines like ours in a year. There is no discoveries for 80 new mines in the world like ours in the next 10 years. So the demand is growing, even if we don't reach a total electrification, we reach a partial electrification. It certainly makes a lot of sense. Well, congratulations on the numbers today. Great to see you again. And I know we'll talk again soon. Thanks, Waldo. Thank you very much, Steve. All right, Waldo Perez, the CEO of Neolithium.